A few days ago I was browsing YouTube when I saw a video by Low Spec Gamer on playing PC games using a Raspberry Pi. Among a few other titles, one of the games featured was Minecraft. Since Java Minecraft, as its name implies, it's a program running in Java, as long as there's a full Java environment on the Pi, it should theoretically run it. And he's right, if you can get Java running, you can technically play Minecraft on anything, including a phone. There have been some attempts to allow Bedrock and Java Edition players to play together before, and a common trick has been to allow Bedrock clients to connect through a proxy that acts as basically a translator to a regular PC server. But that's not really PC Minecraft on mobile, since you're still technically just playing Pocket Edition. On top of that, it's extremely buggy, only works on a few specific versions of the game, and most importantly relies on support by the owner of the server, which as we've seen hasn't really taken off. No, you see, I wanted to get the full desktop Java edition running on my phone, playable, and with support for both single player and any multiplayer server. My first thought was Linux, as this is the same operating system used by the Raspberry Pi. Android itself already runs on the Linux kernel, and I already knew that it was possible to create a full Linux desktop environment running entirely off my phone, since I'd done it before. I should also mention that I won't be rooting my phone at all for this, there's actually an app on the Play Store called Termux which can create an Ubuntu desktop and open a VNC server. VNC, or Virtual Network Computing, is basically just the bare minimum of remote desktop. It's been around since the 1990s and it works on pretty much any platform, including most versions of Linux. The idea is to create a remote desktop server within Termux, then connect to that local server using a VNC viewer app on the same phone, or even a PC if you wanted to. So I got to work. After about two hours of staring at this endless void of text, I finally managed to get my virtual desktop up and running. I immediately went to the Minecraft website to download the official Linux installer, but to my disappointment... Wait, what? Aw, oh, man. Package architecture AMD64 does not match system. This error means that the installer was expecting an AMD64 CPU architecture, which is basically just a full desktop processor. Most phone manufacturers instead choose to use ARM-based processors, which can be less powerful but much more efficient, leading to longer battery life and cooler temperatures, which you kind of need in a phone. The problem is that ARM-based CPUs are fundamentally different, meaning apps written to run on desktop hardware can't just be natively opened on an ARM-based platform. I wasn't going to stop here though. Just because the official launcher wouldn't run on ARM doesn't mean it's impossible to run Minecraft itself. After all, if you could get it running on a Raspberry Pi, then you can get it running on Android. I took to Google and did a quick search for Minecraft Java ARM64. While most of the results were running Java Edition servers, I did find a post on the Raspberry Pi forums claiming to have a third-party launcher with support for Forge and Optifine running on ARM-based processors with any Debian-based Linux distribution. After another hour of confusion, I finally managed to start downloading the latest version of Minecraft. It started quickly, but soon began to slow to a crawl with download speeds as low as 4 kilobytes a second. Considering the forum post also mentioned that versions above 1.12 were having issues, I decided to cancel this download and try 1.12 instead. I didn't want to risk waiting hours for a download only to have it crash on me. <gasps> Wait, it says it's done. Okay, can I play? Come on, 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 please. No such file or directory? Was that it then? It just doesn't work? Four hours in, I decided to count my losses and just go back to the drawing board. So, earlier, while I was searching for a way to get Minecraft to run in Termux, I had also stumbled across a month-old Reddit thread asking the same questions. One of the replies stood out to me, though. After spending a week trying to get Java running on Termux, I found an app called MC in a Box. It's only available on GitHub and takes a while to set up, but I was able to get 1.8.9 running above 60 FPS. Looks like we have a new lead. Unless you wish to compile the app yourself, the only download is a tiny link in the middle of the readme file. Most of the documentation is in Chinese, and initial setup was really confusing. My initial attempts to launch both recent and older versions all ended with some sort of crash or error. But finally, at exactly 2am in the morning, I had my first taste of hope. This is my raw, unfiltered reaction to the first time I had an actual build of Java Edition Minecraft running on my phone. Now will it work? <gasps> oh my god! Oh my fucking god. This this screen here is my phone. This oh, window is my phone. Crap. What version is it running? 1.15. It's definitely not stable, but it was a massive step in the right direction. Alright, so, first of all, for some reason the menu background hadn't loaded in at all, and the splash text had this weird overlap with what I assume is meant to be its shadow. It took about four minutes to load into a world, where I was then greeted with some pretty unusual glitches and a whopping zero FPS. But the fact it loaded at all was proof that this was indeed possible, and it gave me a rush of motivation to keep going. 
I tried making some adjustments in settings in hopes of fixing the rendering bugs and possibly getting some extra performance, but that proved to be a bit ineffective. I decided to try 1.8.9 instead, to see if older versions had better compatibility. And this did have a little more success. The game loaded fairly quickly this time, and the splash screen background was actually visible. Although it was a little finicky, I also managed to lower some settings, and this was the result. Oh, it's actually smooth! Not bad! Oh, and the touch control... touch works? Alright, well, let's try turning up the render distance then. Let's put it to like 8. Done, done, back... Oh my... oh... There's a little bit of stutter there. I still hadn't configured a proper on-screen button layout, something which the app lacks any defaults for, so I could really only walk forwards and backwards. But I'd say this is pretty decent for a phone. My next objective was to install Optifine. This would increase performance and stability and provide support for a few improvements, such as zooming, integrated shaders, and more graphics options. After my first few attempts were unsuccessful, I decided to just copy my entire Minecraft game folder in Windows to my phone. It did take a while, but after it was finally done, I opened up the app and, to my surprise, saw all my downloaded versions. So, with everything theoretically working, I proceeded to enter my actual username and password into this completely unheard of app, opened up the game, and logged into Hypixel. Oh, Holy bruh. Holy bruh. Oh, bruh. I'm getting on, I'm getting on Minecraft. Over the next few days, I went on to spend some more time tinkering with the settings and setting up a proper control layout. I managed to get some pretty surprising performance, and crashes became a lot less frequent, and I've also managed to get loads of other versions at least somewhat stable with mods and Optifine. Anyway, now everything was stable, I decided to subject some innocent, unsuspecting victims to play Bedwars with me while I was on a phone. I want to play Bedwars with you. But why? Why not? It's fun. But, but why? I mean, why not? Look at look at look at his look at his oh oh my game Bruh. crashed. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I I I I, I my my computer's not very good, unfortunately. Oh my god, you're trash. I I'm sorry. It's I'm sorry. What the hell are you doing? I'm just chilling. <laughs> the me. Oh my god, I'm, I I actually want to see how this how this turns out. This is this is sad, honestly. Oh! <laughs> well, I died on my own terms. So Alright, well, uh, yeah, I'm proud of you. Good job, Smeef. <laughs> please, 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 let me, let me, I want to get the kill. <gasps> I GOT THE KILL! OH MY GOD! Oh my god, shut the Bruh. up. No, you don't understand how, how important this is to me. You don't understand what I'm doing right now. You, you just, yeah, it, it will all be revealed in due time, Smeefums. What are you... What the bruh? Yeah, well, oh, oh, bruh. he's back. Kill him, kill him. He has, he has emerald. I'm, tr I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. Oh, please, you just- Why are you bad at Minecraft? Oh, I got it! Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm so- I'm- I'm a bruh. fucking beast. Let's bruh. fucking go. Nope, 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 nope. We'll kill him, kill him, no, 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 kill him. No, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Smeefa, I'm gonna be honest, I haven't- I haven't been completely honest with you. Um. What? How do I say this? I'm, uh, I turned on my webcam. <laughs> How? How? This is completely independent from my computer, by the way. It's not remote desktop. This is, um, Minecraft Java How running on Android. If you have a look at the F3 menu, you'll see that it actually says, um, I have 256 megabytes of RAM and an ARM V8 processor. And this is running at 1440p at 60 FPS stable. Wait, could you, could you do that without Wi-Fi? Yeah. You can I'll play without Wi-Fi. I'll turn off the Wi-Fi right now. Wi-Fi off. Mobile data off. I mean, I can't. I can't How? join servers now because I've got no internet. But I can play single player. I don't like this. Why? What's wrong? Is there something wrong, Smeef? Smeef, I have a hundred and sixty-three. Look at look at my frame rate. That's a very that's a very interesting thing. Like, yes. I want to hear what it sounds like when I finger my belly button. All right. Goodbye, Smeef. It's been a good one. By the way, uh, all the app's code is open source on GitHub, so if you know what you're doing a little better than I do, which you probably do, I strongly encourage you to take a look and see if you can maybe make some changes, you know, help out the community. The setup process is really confusing at the moment, so I might make a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to get everything running, and maybe even, like, upload some pre-set up game files to make it easier for you. So if you want to see that, make sure you let me know in a comment, and subscribe and turn on notifications so you won't miss it. If there's a lot of demand, I'll probably make that within the next few days or so. Anyway, thanks for watching, hope you found my experience with all this a little interesting, and I'll hopefully see you later.